Hello, small group. Let's review where we have been. So Paul has gone from Jerusalem, and on the way to Damascus, he was converted. He spent three years in Arabia, perhaps out east, perhaps going down south. But when he came back to Damascus, he had to leave. So when he comes back down to Jerusalem, he is introduced to some of the apostles by Barnabas, a very welcoming encourager. In Jerusalem, he spends about 15 days in private with Peter. Uh, he also goes in and out of the apostles. They learn about uh, a plan to have him killed. So they usher him out of Jerusalem up to Caesarea, where he goes back to his hometown, Tarsus. Uh, after this, the Jerusalem Christians learn about all the converts uh, that are happening in Antioch. Uh, the church is growing there. It's, it's exploding. This is amazing. So they send Barnabas. Barnabas goes to Antioch, and he realizes just how great this is, and he sees the grace of God in it. So he goes and he gets, uh, could have been this way, uh, he goes and he gets Paul from Tarsus, and they go back to Antioch, and they spend a year there teaching and discipling and pastoring and uh, seeing to the early growth of this church. Now, some prophets from Jerusalem traveled up to Antioch, and while there, a prophet named Agapus prophesied of a great famine that would happen in Jerusalem. So Paul and Barnabas, and we also learn Titus, travel down with a gift from the Antioch church to Jerusalem, and they give it to the Christians there. And then Paul meets with James and Peter and John, and he sets forth the gospel that he's already been uh, teaching in Antioch, probably around Cilicia and probably around Arabia too. He tells the Christians here, uh, the, the James, Peter, and John, what he has been teaching. And the uh, apostles there recognize the ministry to the Gentiles that Paul has been given. And he sa they say, basically, you have your ministry to the Gentiles. We have our ministry to the Jews. Um, so while Paul is there with Titus, who is a Greek, who is uncircumcised, uh, he is not pressured. Titus is not pressured to get circumcised. So, uh, fast forward, when uh, Paul is back up in Antioch, uh, at some point Peter comes and he visits the church in Antioch. And while there, he communes with the Gentile Christians. He has table fellowship w with them. Uh, but when some of uh, what's called the circumcision party of professing Christians visits from Jerusalem to Antioch, when they arrive, Peter gets uncomfortable and draws back from his intimate table fellowship, uh, his religious uh, fe fellowship with the Gentiles. And uh, Paul stands up and calls him out on it, calls him a hypocrite, says you're not acting in step with the gospel. Um, uh, I think the only thing I missed there was that, no, I, that's it. No, we're doing good. Okay, so Paul goes from Jerusalem to Damascus, three years in Arabia, back to Damascus, back down to Jerusalem, um, he goes out for, to Caesarea and then Tarsus. The Jerusalem Christians hear about the growth of the church in Antioch. They send Barnabas. Barnabas comes up. He goes and he grabs uh, Paul from Tarsus. And uh, they go back to Antioch. Um, a prophet from Jerusalem comes up. And in Antioch says there's going to be a great famine. So Paul and Barnabas and Titus, they go down to Jerusalem. They give the gift uh, that the Antioch church gave to the Christians in Jerusalem. Paul corroborates the gospel with James, Peter, and John. He comes back up. Peter visits. Uh, Peter acts with hypocrisy. Paul calls him out on it. Whew, 